ye, hear ye. It is time now for the seventh Genshin Impact Hunger Games. For today's special plot twist, some people were recommending I throw myself into the ring, so I will be doing so. Will I shove D. Luke into a pit? Will I have an affair with Jean? Stay tuned to find out. That being said, I'm gonna put myself in by default. This first spin is going to be my district partner, so let's find out who that person will be. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> excellent. All right, 22 more victims remaining. Let's find out who else will be in the ring. I'll hate them. Mr. Pogo Man himself. Nahito. <laughs> what do I feel like a sports announcer? And one more for the road. Bro, I spelled his name wrong. All right, I'll pick the rest of these off camera, BRB. And this round's volunteers have been selected. Starting off with District 1, we have Tartaglia and Yelan. And District 2 is Ito and Diluc. District 3 is Zhongli and... Wait a dang minute. <laughs> In District 3, we have Zhongli and Xiao. In District 4 is Razor and Amber. District 5 is Alhatham and Nahida. District 6 is Xingqiu and Kaching. District 7 is Ayato and Ayaka. District 8 is Paimon and Aether. District 9 is Hu Tao and Dotore. District 10 is Kazuha and Shenha. District 11 is Noel and Kale. And District 12 is yours truly and Ushi. Last round was incredibly dramatic. What drama will unfold today? Only time will tell. Let the games begin. Starting off with the bloodbath, where the tributes stand on their podiums and the horn sounds. This is the beginning of the match where they can either grab supplies or hit the hills. Is that an expression? Ito runs away from the cornucopia. Razor runs away from the cornucopia. You know, Ito, I'm very proud of you for surviving the bloodbath, not gonna lie. Noelle drops their vision, but has to carry on without it. Ayato and Shenha fight for a bag. Ayato gives up and retreats. Yeah, dude, same. If I had to face Shenha head on, I would also retreat. <laughs> Zhongli grabs a sword. Kali runs away from the cornucopia. Xingqiu runs away. Paimon runs away. Aether runs away. Hu Tao runs away. Amber grabs a backpack and retreats. Dilu grabs a backpack. A big pick, <laughs> not realizing it is empty. Dotore runs away. Al Haytham, wide Haytham, excuse me, runs away from the cornucopia. Yelan finds a bag full of explosives. Uh oh. Ayaka runs away, Nahida runs away, Kazuha runs away, Ushi grabs a backpack not realizing it was empty. Dude, my heart just sank when I saw my face down here. Kumax gathers as much food as she can. All right, I survived. Live to see another day. Tartaglia runs away with a lighter and some rope. Xiao runs away. Kaching accidentally steps on a landmine. I was just about to say, nobody's gonna die in the bloodbath, really? Girly really said, I'm out. Well, it looks like most of us survived the first bloodbath. Let's see if we can survive the first day as well. Paimon and Shinha hunt for other tributes. Tartaglia tries to spear a fish with a trident. Kumax falls into a pit, but breaks their fall by landing on Ito, who is at the bottom. They survive. Now, how is Ito at the bottom of the pit if Ito is in this round? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Ushi practices his archery. <laughs> Excuse me? Who tau thinks about home. D. Luke sprains his ankle while running away from Nahida. She is absolutely terrifying. Wide Haytham tries to sleep throughout the entire day. Kazuha and Zhongli find an unusual hilly churl. They have a dance party, of course. Kale makes a slingshot. Amber and Ito split up to search for resources. I love this dynamic duo. This is great. Zhao camouflages himself in the bushes. I'm just imagining that scene from the Hunger Games movie where Pita like camouflages himself in the river. <laughs> Noel goes hunting. Razor constructs a shack. Dotore collects fruit from a tree. Ayaka is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Tingcho questions his sanity. Yelan receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Ayato finds an exquisite chest in the woods. And Aether hunts for other tributes. Did anybody die in this? I don't think... Bro, we're gonna have another arena event at this rate. Not enough people are dying. Yeah, Kaching was the only one who died that round. All right, night one, night one. Kale, Aether, Paimon, Diluc, and Ito sleep in shifts. Alhatham and Tartaglia were caught smooching in the bushes. Open up those AO3 tabs now. Keep an eye on that situation. Xiao and Yelan huddle for warmth. Xingqiu calls out to Xiao, but he doesn't appear. He's too busy cuddling with Yelan, duh. Kazuha receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Ayaka can't stop thinking about Diluc. Is this the, the romance episode? What is going on? Shenha calls out to Xiao, but he doesn't appear. Everyone's thirsting after Xiao. 
Chow. Does Hori stays awake all night? Also thinking about Chow and Diluc, probably. Hu Tao cries herself to sleep. Oh, honey. Ushi, Razor, and Ayato discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. What a riveting conversation that must be. Ayato is like speaking eloquently. Razor's like, y -y -y do you think any of them have any spare food? And Ushi's like, Bleh! Noelle and Amber hold hands. What has gotten into everybody? Relax. Kumax stays awake all night. Yeah, I'm questioning why nobody's holding my hand. Nahida tries to treat her infection. Zhongli screams for help. Night one was a riveting affair. Let's get on to day two now. Noelle begs Amber to kill her. She refuses, keeping Noelle alive. Wait a second. <gasps> okay, that's what I thought. Noelle and Amber were holding hands in the last round, and now she's begging her to kill her. Why? Is she guilty? I don't know. She kept her alive, though. Paimon finds a statue of the seven and heals themselves. Kumax tries to spear a fish with a trident. Keyword, tries. Jingcho makes a slingshot. Aether sets an explosive off, killing Zhongli and Yelan. Oh, he's going sicko mode. Kale and Alhatham fight Tartaglia and Kazuha. Kale and Alhatham survive. So Tartaglia and Kazuha just got killed by Kale and Wide Haytham. Ushi, Ayato, and Hu Tao hunt for other tributes. Ushi has not interacted with me once. This also, Ayato and Ayaka are not interacting either. This is a little sus. Xiao searches for a water source. Ayaka camouflages herself in the bushes. Dotori scares Razor off. Chenha attacks Diluc, but he manages to escape. Ito gleefully kills Timmy's birds. He's just hanging out. He's having a good time avoiding pits. Nahida dies from thirst. Oh, all right. Well, at least nobody took her out themselves, I suppose. So on day two, Zhongli, Yelan, Tartaglia, Kazuha, and Nahida have fallen. On to night two. Oh, geez. Ayaka lets Al Haytham into her shelter. Ayato's like holding a knife outside the door in case any shenanigans go on. Kale died from a bad case of Elazar. <gasps> Oh no, that's too real. It's okay, everyone. She's healed now, but like, oh. Meanwhile, Amber tries to treat her infection. Razor and Paimon tell stories about themselves to each other. Diluc defeats Hu Tao in a fight, but spares her life. Aether silently snaps Noelle's neck. This boy is going sicko mode this round. He is out for blood. Ushi, Singcho, Ayato, and Shenha tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. I bet my money on either Ayato or Shenha initiating that. Ito receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Dotore receives a medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. We don't love that. Kumax and Xiao huddle for warmth. What? Ow! It is finally my time for something spicy to happen. <laughs> no, there's nothing going on between me and Xiao. Don't worry about it. Give it up for day three. The Tori constructs a shack. Xiao attacks Shenha, but she manages to escape. Ushi overhears Razor and Diluc talking in the distance. <laughs> he is my spy. Ito travels to higher ground. He's like, I will not be six feet under today. I will go six feet up. Tingcho receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Ayaka searches for firewood. Hu Tao tends to Amber's wounds, emotional or physical at this point, honestly. Ayato fishes. Kumak searches for firewood. Paimon practices her archery. Alhatham discovers a river. Aether injures himself. You pushing yourself a little too hard, boy -o. And two cannon shots can be heard in the distance from Kale and Noel. So sorry to hear that. Let's look at the stats real quick. All right, Alahatham already has two kills. Aether has three kills. Oh my gosh. And Kale had two, but she passed away. But nobody else has any kills except for these two. All right, night three. Now Alahatham is letting Xiao into his shelter. Is that a euphemism? I'm gonna let you into my shelter, boy. <laughs> Alahatham is killing people and seducing people a lot in this episode so far. He needs to be stopped. Kumax, Amber, Shenha, and Ayato tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Again, Ayato and Shenha telling the ghost stories. Ito tries to treat his infection. Aether tends to his wounds. Ushi tries to sing himself to sleep. I would love to hear that. Diluc passes out from exhaustion. Hu Tao cooks food before putting her fire out. Sing Cho loses sight of where he is. Razor tends to his wounds. Ayako loses sight of where she is. Dotori receives a message from the Fatui telling him to hurry it up already. <gasps> That's canon. Paimon cooks her food before putting her fire out. All right, no deaths on night three. Day four, Ito travels to higher ground again. He is so serious about his six foot up plan. Dotori gleefully kills Timmy's birds. Singcho makes a wooden spear. Kumax explores the arena. Ushi hunts for other tributes. Shenha got lost on floor 13 of the Spiral Abyss and was never seen again. Ever go to floor 13? You won't come back. Hu Tao receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. 
Ayato convinces Razor not to kill him, only to kill him instead. A manipulative king, Ayato has taken down Razor. Ayaka scares Alhatham off. Dude, Alhatham was like, hey, little mama, you want to come into my shelter? And she was like, no. <laughs> I think she, I think they already shared a shelter earlier. Alhatham needs to take a cold shower. Good lord. Amber makes a wooden spear. D. Luke travels to higher ground. Xiao fishes. Aether receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Paimon finds an exquisite chest in the woods. This is a very, like, kind of chill game so far, other than, like, all the scandalous nature going on. Oh my god. D. Luke lets Al Haytham into his shelter. Now D. Luke's get the piece of that! I too would like to share a shelter with Al Haytham. This is insane. What is going on with Wide Haytham? He really rolled up and said, I'm gonna make this a games to remember. <laughs> Kumax, Ushi, Xiao, and Ayaka sleep in shifts. You know what? I, I kind of stand this like squad me and ushi were in the same team xiao and i had like our little moment earlier and ayaka she's probably feeling a little lonesome because al haytham played her and ayato has been like ignoring her but also i'm pretty sure al haytham's first like shelter incident with was with ayaka she probably thought she was special and then the next day and the next day and the next day he has more and more people sharing shelters and she's like i got played man <laughs> aether calls out to xiao but he doesn't appear so Sorry, Aether, he's with me. Amber taints Hu Tao's food, killing her. I'm surprised that that worked, but okay. Ayato can't stop thinking about D. Huh? I'm sorry. He can't stop thinking about D. Luke, who is sharing a shelter with Al Haytham. Do I sense some jealousy here, or are you like worried about D. Luke because Al Haytham is being the way Al Haytham be? <laughs> Ito, Singto, Del Torre, and Paimon tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Lots of ghost stories. All right, day five. Paimon fishes. D. Luke receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. The Tori finds an exquisite chest in the woods. Alhaitha makes a wooden spear. What are you up to? Singcho gleefully kills Timmy's birds. Ushi got lost on floor 13 of the spiral abyss as well and was never seen again. My partner. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't need him. Ito tries to sleep through the entire day. Aether receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Chao pushes Ayaka off a cliff during a knife fight. We just had the most, like, Wholesome special night last night, and you're gonna push her off a cliff. I suppose that is the nature of the game. Kumax is unable to convince Amber not to kill her, and my reign of terror has come to an end. I don't think I killed anyone. Dang it, Amber, why did you have to do me like that? All right, well, I am officially out. This was a fun video, I'll see you guys later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> me and Ushi both got taken out on the same day, I guess. Ayato searches for firewood. Go on without me, Xiao. We had our, our precious moment. I expect you to win now. And on to night five. Alhatham, Amber, and Xingqiu start fighting, but Amber runs away as Alhatham kills Xingqiu. All right. Xingqiu has been taken out by Al Haytham. The Tori receives more medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Obviously, that's the Fatui. Xiao tends to Aether's wounds. Ayato receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Paimon can't stop thinking about D Luke. Ito and D Luke run into each other and decide a truce for the night. We've made it to the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Aether decides not to go. D Luke repeatedly stabs Ayato to death with size. That's very violent of you, D Luke. I'm surprised. Amber decides not to go to the feast. Xiao decides not to go. Paimon decides not to go. Dotori stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Alhatham steals Ito's memoirs. Can you stop being a menace for five seconds? He needed those. He wanted those. Day six. Aether, Amber, and Ito start fighting, but Amber runs away as Aether kills Ito. And Ito, you survived a very long time. You didn't fall in a pit and die. We're proud of you. Rest in peace. Alhatham receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Dotori discovers a cave. D. Luke overhears Xiao and Paimon talking in the distance. All right, Xingto, Ayato, and Ito rest in peace. Let's see, D. Luke has one, Xiao has one. Aether is still leading with four kills. Night six. Amber, D. Luke, Dottori, Aether, and Xiao sleep in shifts. El Haytham quietly hums. Paimon receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. No events on night six. Day seven. D. Luke finds an exquisite chest in the woods. Aether goes hunting. Xiao picks flowers. Amber is unable to convince Al Haytham not to kill her. Another kill for Al Haytham. Paimon finds an exquisite chest in the woods. Dude, she's found like three by this point. The Tori constructs a shack. All right, Amber is the only death from day seven. On to night seven. 
D. Luke passes out from exhaustion again. Zhao, Aether, and Paimon cheerfully sing songs together. Alhatham sets up camp for the night. He's like, all right. Like rubbing his hands together like a little fly. Like, see who tonight's guest shall be. The Tori receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. We don't love that. Day eight. The Tori forces Aether to kill Paimon or Alhatham. He decides to kill Alhatham. Aether has taken out the menace. He protected Paimon. The Tori is over here being a manipulative king. You can't out manipulate the manipulator, Alhatham. I'm sorry to tell you. This feels pretty canon to me. The Tori is like, we have to take this gentleman out. I'll leave it up to you though. D Luke searches for firewood. Xiao injures himself. One wide Hatham down. Night eight. Paimon, Aether, and D Luke start fighting, but Aether runs away as Paimon kills D Luke. I didn't think you had it in ya. Xiao looks at the night sky. The Tori stays awake all night. All right, there's only four remaining, you guys. Day nine. The Tori overhears Paimon and Aether talking in the distance. We got a power team dynamic happening right here. Xiao injures himself. D Luke is the only fallen tribute. On to night nine. The Tori and Xiao run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Paimon is unable to convince Aether not to kill her, and Aether has killed his own partner. Day 10. Have we ever made it to day 10? Maybe like once. This is pretty far along. Xiao searches for a water source. The Tori receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Aether tries to sleep through the entire day. Paimon is the only fallen soldier. Let's see, Aether has a lot of kills. Six. He has six kills up against Xiao with one, and Dotori has none. Night 10. Dotori, Xiao, and Aether sleep in shifts? Why are we working together, gentlemen? Day 11. Aether falls to their death after their stamina runs out while climbing up a cliff, and Xiao tracks down and kills Dotori. That's it. That's the game! The winner is Xiao from District 3! Congratulations! You've done it! Wait, didn't I say? Didn't I say that he had to win because we had our little cuddle moment earlier? He did that for me. No, he didn't. He really didn't. He did that to survive. I'm positive. I knew he liked me! It was a very noble battle. He only had two kills. Xiao won over Aether, who had six kills. And he took out Dotore with his own bare hands. We love to see that. You know, I was down for that game. That was good. There was lots of scandal going on. For the next round, you know what? I feel like we should start mixing things up a little bit more. Some people were recommending I do a Harbingers slash enemies round. I could do that. Or we can just sprinkle the Harbingers in with everyone else and see how it goes. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you as always for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!